patients with inflammatory bowel disease are at a higher risk for developing colon cancer in their lifetime than patients in the general population without inflammatory bowel disease. So we, and in patients with inflammatory bowel disease, they, they develop a flat, often a flat uh, pre, pre-cancer or forerunner, and they're, again, they're difficult to find endoscopically, and uh, the convention is to do colonoscopy every year with multiple random biopsies to find these lesions. Uh, that's an that's an imperfect approach. Uh, we we need to find better ways to improve our yield of the of finding these lesions. So we looked for the first time at uh, stool DNA testing uh, to find these this precancer in the setting of inflammatory bowel disease. And we it was a multi-center study here at Mayo Clinic, uh, University of Chicago, and Mount Sinai uh, Medical Center in New York. Uh, this is an ongoing study, but we took a look at the interim data where we had 10 patients with either cancer or precancer in the setting of inflammatory bowel disease, and 10 patients with inflammatory bowel disease, but having none of those. And the bottom line was that the stool DNA test, a non-invasive approach, detected 9 out of 10, 90 percent of patients with either cancer or precancer. Uh, and uh, the specificity was, was also very high at 90 percent, which means that uh, 1 out of 10 patients had a, what we think was, may have been a false positive stool test or a potentially false negative colonoscopy. Uh, so that, that level of discrimination for a first time look at this was uh, extraordinary. Stool DNA testing is, in general, represents what we hope will be a user-friendly, affordable approach that can be widely disseminated. Uh, wherever the mail goes, this test can go. Uh, a formal and expensive health care visit is not necessary, potentially, for this uh, approach. And our, our, our hope would be that a test like this could be used by, you know, eventually our general population, uh, those that are currently not in the screening program, could enter that with a test like this. Uh, because of its performance characteristics, unlike other non-invasive tests, which fail to detect the, pre the precancers, this test detects the precancers very effectively and thereby offers the promise of cancer prevention. If you don't detect the precancer, you don't prevent the cancer. So this test, you know, if it widely applied and uh, used regularly over one screening lifetime, uh, has the potential of eradicating uh, colon cancer in those being screened. Uh, that would be an important goal.